keeper who is studying in fifth standard came and told me, come, we go for a walk. And I told a lot of people are outside the ashram and I don't like to come out with you for a walk. Every day she wants me to go with her for a walk or a cycling or the electric scooter. It's fun also. Sometimes other children also join. But for me, the problem is the crowd outside. So I said, wait, Deepa, quite a lot of crowd, like the crowd melts off, then we go for a walk. And she told me, every day you tell me the same thing. So I said, okay, let's go. As I was going, I, I saw, I, I, I checked the kitchen and I found the kitchen staff, half the kitchen staff was on leave. So I said, let us peep inside. We peeped inside. There is dosa making going on. We made dosa. We were sweating and sweating and we were out. The dosa is making. We had to bend and turn and twist and taking this thing, taking that. That is a big exercise. Yes. And the kitchen staff felt very happy. We started melting into that. It is not only the walk that melts our heart with our people that is more beautiful than in the gymnasium and in the outside road walking. Bhagavad Gita, the holiest of the holy book of the Hindus. It melts when you start talking because. The moment you touch the name of the holiest book, Bhagavad Gita, it goes to the highest temperature which breaks any stones, the gold shatters into pieces and it melts to make varieties of ornaments. Such is the beauty of the name Bhagavad Gita and every one word of that Bhagavad Gita, the most loving person in the whole universe, Bhagavan Krishna, is like a beautiful song. Today, the 30th, 13th quote. Detachment from material things is the way to inner peace. Detachment material things. The, let us look into the material things. What is material things? The material things are the things which you have gone and borrowed. The material things are your friends. Detachment from material things is the way to inner peace. And when you are with your family, from the day you are born, that attachment becomes a way of mastership. And it, that attachment is not killing, but it is blooming. Hence, there was a lot of people who felt Hotekichu. What is Hotekichu in English? Jealous of that attachment with you and your mother and the father, with you and your brother and the sister, with you and your family, and the joint family and the family. There is so much of that attachment is making it so beautiful, so powerful. Even God's felt what take it to. What is what take it to in English? Jealousy. Detachment from material things. When you get detached from that, when you are forced to get detached from that particular connection of your mother and your father, that you sit together and eat always. You make like how and I, Deepa, went to the kitchen and we made the dosa and we felt it was beautiful. When your husband and wife, mother and father, children together, cooks and sit in the same place and you eat, that attachment is godly. When you detach from material things, detach is what Krishna said, Bhagavad, detach from material things which you have not practiced from your childhood. 
is waiting when you are detached from your friends. Friends are there, but it is temporary. But your relatives are your attachment. You, you are frightened to go deeper and deeper because when you go deep, you get lost in your relatives. And once you are lost, all your self Fishness, all your robbery, all your dirty mind vanishes and you will get only pure people are frightened of their purity. Detachment is the way to inner peace. When you get detached from your books, when you go to the school, go to the school. But when you enter the house, get detached from that material. The material what you studied in the school is not your own. It is a borrowed knowledge only for you to understand what is happening in the world. Taking the best out of that, how the duck catches the prey, it goes down and along with the sand, it catches the prey and it leaves the sand out. Only the prey is swallowed. Like that is the child when he goes, when you are in deep in love with the father and mother and eight foot to had parts to get home, they had together, had a massage, you practice yoga together, practice uh, cooking together, went for a walk together. When you go to the school, that child understand this is material and uh, what is best suited to be included in my house is I'll take it. So before I enter the house, please leave your slippers and your mind outside the house means all your material thing gets detached. Once you get detached, when you enter the house, you and your wife become one. You and your children melt to become one. And together the family melts to become a joint family that stands taller the, like the family tree. That's what Krishna kept on. Detachment from material things is a way to inner peace. And when you understand your land, when you understand your family land, and you start digging the mud and then you find that you can grow your own organic vegetables and your medicinal plants and the flowers and the flowers you grow are so beautiful when you do the alankara you means the decoration on the, on the god on the idol you feel you have been decorated you know what flower goes with what and that flower which has been decorated in every idol is a medicinal flower for all your diseases organic vegetables Grow spring, summer, autumn, winter. That is when that is not there. You buy from the vegetable market. That uh, Krishna said, get detached from that material. The way to inner peace. When you stitch your own clothes. Yes. That is a beauty out of it. And in that attachment of your family, automatically you get attached to know when God has given us so much, the earth is probably enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. And the greed is your material thing. You leave the attachment of what God has given the rainwater harvest. You collect the rainwater. One year collect the rainwater, you can use it for three half an hour. Collect the rainwater, you can drink it for three months and the rainwater goes on. It is medicinal, it is godly. And they use it even to treat cancer patients. And you forgot that that attachment ultimately comes. And when you use the sunlight to convert all the houses in the solar take because it's not to drop to be wasted. That day is called a man. You are that day you came, you are called a family, you are a Hindu family. A real Hindus which live on this side of the Sindhu river and melted with that beautiful poem called the Bhagavad Gita. Those houses which don't have solar, don't enter the houses. Those houses have to be bulldozed and finished off. No rainwater harvesting. Don't enter any church or temple or masjid. Hindus have taught that all temples should have rainwater harvesting and solar and wind energy and they must grow organic vegetables and beautiful flowers which is very close to all the diseases. When people enter the temple and they go come out, all the diseases vanishes. Now where are those? That is the God. The priest in the temple has become so lazy, hence all these problems. My challenge to all the men in the society, 
convert your houses to solar lights and collect rainbow to house that day you are born a man who can touch Bhagavad Gita and smell the truth. <laughs>